If you don't have a tension meter like this, or like this, you don't have to worry because you can bypass the whole tensioning process. Keep watching and I'll show you how to do it. So the best way to look at it is, shaders paraboos, to look at a fully tensioned wheel and see where the spoke threads sit in relation to the nipple. Here, I'll show you. So take a look here. You can see that the top of the spoke is flush to the flat of the nipple. Here's a better view. You can see that they're basically flush. So here's the idea. Spokes usually have about 10 millimeters of thread and the nipple screws on to those threads. That's what places tension on the spoke. So what you do is thread your nipple on so the top of the spoke is flush to the flat of the nipple. The easiest way to do it is to use the nipple driver because it has like a small 2 millimeter nib that fits inside of the nipple. When the spoke touches that nib, it'll literally push the tool out of the nipple, reliably placing the top of the spoke flush to the flat of the nipple. Now, if this doesn't tension the wheel to your satisfaction, you have an extra two millimeters or so for the spoke to sit flush at the top of the nipple. And sometimes, you can even thread the nipple on a little bit farther, if needed. So as a rule of thumb, just simply look for the top of the spoke being flush with the nipple flat on every nipple around the wheel. From there, if it's not perfectly true one way or another, just correct it until true. If you want to see how to build a wheel with spokes that are too long, you can click right here.